dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, magtuon sa kita sa pulong sa Diyos. Ang pagatunan nato karon maguluhan ang atong tagoanan panahon sa kasama. Our hiding place in times of trouble. We know that in the world we will have tribulations based on the Lord's word. In John chapter 16 verse 33. Brothers and sisters, do not be afraid of what's happening in the world today. The Lord Jesus said, Be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Kung unsa man ang mga pangitabo sa kalibutan, karoon, katalak man, kasakitan man, remember, that everything is under God's control. All things in this world can be systematized by the evil one. As a man come one to, where is the safety place for you? As a man come to go. Ang Salmo Kapitulo 32, Versikulo 17, You are my hiding place. You will save me from trouble. I will sing aloud of your salvation because you protect me. Just keep in mind that God will hide you in the safety of His presence. Whoever goes to the Lord for safety, whoever remains under the protection of the Almighty, can say to Him, You are my defender and protector. You are my God in you. I trust. In Psalm chapter 91 verse 1 to 4 it says, He will keep you safe from all hidden dangers and from all deadly diseases. He will cover you with His wings. You will be safe in His fear. Give thanks to the Lord because of the great things He has done. Be strong. Do not be afraid. Or this covers. For the Lord is with you wherever you go. Jesus 1.9 In the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 18 Apostle Paul says Builds up your strength in union with the Lord and by means of his mighty power. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our fighting is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Busa baksi ang inyong hawak sa kamatuuran, and put on the breastplate of righteousness, and as you use the, the readiness to preach the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always in all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us abide in the presence of the Almighty. For He is a shield for all who take refuge in Him. Psalms chapter 8 and verse 30. Thanks for watching.